Parsifé Frobin, the Mino, Quar Gorbane. Penthipa Bevo, Ruthé, Frodima. Zuna! Buddha! Elfin! Harry Shoob! Viva Deso! Lami Noop! Uxapa, Simona Zero, Shippany, Hapanor. Apswar's Napatani. Kirasha? Uh huh. Bimoisa? Oh, Serpino Vinabi. Balabo? Skunk Glaffin? Nasty Beflina? You can't unum it. Viva Deso, Main Trip, Balafoy, huh? Simona Zero, Shippany, Hapanor. Fabeni. Oh, he's not. Crimble Vint. Redupsida. Glanka Cor Quol. Viba Deso. Lami Noop. Uxapa. Bean for Chorb. Crimble Vint. Redupsida. Pumble Steve. Glona Sharf. Jongi. Safaba. Eve of Deso. Yambalava. Hey loves, Kim here and I'm back with another episode of the Super Sim Challenge. If this is your first time on the channel, I just would like to say welcome. Hi, my name is Kim. I am a Sims 4 gamer and we're here with part 40 of the Super Sim Challenge. If you're an OG that's been here for a minute, thank you so, so much for coming back. We are here with Mick, our queen, the one we stand. And if you're interested in doing this challenge yourself, be sure to check out the description box below. I will have a link to the challenge rules as well as other popular sims community challenges read through it see what you like and happy simming so anyway you guys uh, we are in our new home in strangerville and mick is dog tired as you can see from the very beginning of this part mick and leon was doing just a little bit of moving getting mick out of um willow creek and into strangerville Help face bad relationship. Oh, he has a bad relationship with somebody. Yeah, Mick, go ahead and help him with that. And, you know, I don't know. I feel kind of weird about what happened at the beginning, right? Like, I don't know if it's just me or if you guys feel it too, but Michaela disappeared for months. And I don't know. She's just kind of like, you know, I'm fine. You know, I just needed a little break. And... You know, other than that, <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing much more to be said about her situation. I mean, um, you know, she had a false alarm, so she wasn't pregnant, but Fui Fui was distraught and, you know, I don't want to invalidate his feelings and everything that he's been through. Who are all these people? I guess, <laughs> I guess they're here to see other, um, people living here. We do have roommates. So I guess these are their guests. But yeah, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I feel like there's still something more. Let me know if you guys feel the same way. But I feel like, I feel like the reason why michaela has been gone so long isn't exactly what she's sharing with us. But anyway, Mick and Leon are feeling very, very flirty. And it is the winter time. So let's go ahead and check our calendar. So Winterfest is in four sim days. So Thursday will be Winterfest and we need to talk about our vacation so I asked you guys in the last part what should Mick and um, the crew do for Winterfest and if you give me one moment I will show you which answer was chosen all right, you guys, so I have everyone's answers from last week's question of the day. I'm super excited to see what Mick will be doing or where she will be going for Winterfest. So let's go ahead and click this button and see which answer will be chosen. And the answer chosen is Lily B. Simming. For Winterfest, I think a trip to Mount Kobarebi will be nice with the gang. <laughs> awesome episode, Nisi. Thank you. 
that's right you guys so we will oh okay <laughs> so we will be going to mount kobarebi thank you so much lily for answering um the question of the day and being chosen and shout out to everyone who left a suggestion i think mount kobarebi is going to be an amazing vacation um let's go ahead and check in on mick's knee so mick is dog tired and she also needs to empty her bladder as far as her whim she wants to view a piece of art from being inspired she also wants to harvest a plant and she wants to buy an instrument so I feel like we need to go ahead and change our aspiration um, it doesn't look like we're going to be evolving any plants anytime soon I do want to switch back to creativity and I know we're really close to finishing the painter aspiration so painter extraordinaire um, we need to complete five masterpieces and so far we have four done I believe I did bring my easel so I'm gonna pop into build mode and pull that out and I think it's also a good time to just get rid of anything in our inventory that we don't need because since we do have roommates again we're going to have bills and the less things and mix um, inventory the better so just give me one moment with that all right you guys so I went through both mix personal and um, household inventory and I put out a couple of things put out a couple of pictures just to make the place feel like home there's also this thing um, that I guess I got from um, the feeding the mother plant so yeah that's the thing um, <laughs> But yeah, um, I don't know where Leon went. I guess he went ahead and went home, which is fine because we need to go to bed very, very soon. We have work in 12 hours. We're in the excellent range. So hopefully by the time we get off work tomorrow, we will be due for a promotion. And um, I don't know if Mick is too tired to do a painting, but I want her to work on maybe like a large classic painting. So hopefully we can get our last masterpiece you guys we definitely have been working on this for a while so I believe Mick is actually maxed out at painting let me just double check yes painting she is maxed out so we'll see what she creates and I guess in the meantime I can give you guys the grand tour so this is what the little subdivision looks like it's just a cluster of four houses together they're pretty much identical um, the layout is flipped on some of them but honestly it's pretty much identical it's not really too much going on here but I feel like it's just enough space for you know a couple of singles townhomes and I just really really like it so Mick is staying in this first house it's gray across the way there's a blue house back left corner is a brown house and then a green house so on the inside we have our little porch of course where you would come in and then you know each individual unit has their own mailbox and a little porch you know enough space to put two chairs and then when you come in it's kind of just like an open concept living dining and kitchen area so here's our little kitchenette you know it's just basically like a u-shape the basics we have a stove refrigerator sink and then a couple of luxury appliances like a microwave and a dishwasher um, we have a countertop seating and then there's enough space for a little dining table <gasps> ooh, ooh, oh my gosh okay <laughs> wow it is beautiful you guys and we completed the aspiration so it says aspiration completed good art is subjective but spectacular art is universally recognizable Mick has reached this pinnacle by achieving her dream of becoming a world-class painter oh my gosh trait earned expressionistic <laughs> Mick can make emotional art regardless of her mood <gasps> Wow, okay. So we're one step closer to um, completing all of the aspirations, you guys. I'm super excited. So uh, best-selling author, that's the next closest one we have in creative. So uh, let's see, novelist, novelist. So achieve level six writing skill, publish 10 books and write five excellent books. I think that's going to be the next thing in creative we're going to focus on. I think for now, I'm just going to put it back on bodybuilder and we're just going to continue to try to reach Sims maximum body potential. And 
while it's on my mind, I think I want to go ahead and redeem some of our satisfaction points because we have over 11,000 right now. So let's see what we can get. Alrighty, so I went a little spin happy, but that's okay. So I got a couple of traits. I got the steel bladder. It says Sims with a steel bladder rarely have to pay attention to their bladder need. Um, I also got frugal. Frugal Sims household has reduced bills. I got speed reader. Read books faster than the average sim. And then all single service um, requests are free. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Mick definitely needs to go ahead and address her needs. And it's pretty late. So I think I want to go ahead and have her do that. Go to bed. And then I'm going to see you guys in the morning. Okay, so... While Mick is sleeping, I guess I'll go ahead and give you guys the rest of the grand tour because I just realized that I didn't show you everything. So obviously this is upstairs. So we have the main bedroom, the only bedroom in each of these units. These are for single sims, so they're a little bit more compacted, but I feel like the bedroom is pretty spacious. We have a walk-in wardrobe and a space for a TV and a mirror and you know just some essentials like an ironing board, laundry basket and things like that. And then the bathroom is also upstairs. This is the only toilet um, or bathroom in the whole unit. So you know just enough for you to do your business. Um, tub, shower combination, sink, and then a laundry room so your sims can wash up their clothes. So anyway, Mick is still sleeping. I'm going to catch you guys um, right before it's time for her to go to work. So it is about 7 a.m. and Mick is super stressed. I am tired of these lifestyles because they're just so annoying. But I want Mick to try to calm herself down. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and have her go jogging. That way she can work on her fitness and she can also maybe jog to clear mine. Is Can I choose that as an option specifically? Hmm. I don't see jog to clear mine, but I do see go jogging. So hopefully that'll be a two for one for us. So yeah, you guys, I mean, so far so good. I mean, we're feeling pretty okay. Mick definitely wants to, I don't know why she keeps stopping mid run. That is so weird. This is like the second time she's done that. But she wants to buy a treadmill. She also wants to find a collectible. And she wants to take a shower. So I'll definitely have her take a shower. And I still kind of want to get to know the neighbors. Um, so I've been to this residence a couple of times when we were still doing the Strangerville mystery. And the map view would say that people were there. But for some reason when I would show up, it would say that no one is at home. So you know what? Why don't I, if I can, I want to go ahead and visit the residents and see if maybe we can learn some more about the people in Strangerville. All right, so let's go ahead and knock on this door. I did see something sparkle. Can I evolve something? I don't know. I thought I saw something. Okay, come on in. So it's about time that someone is actually here. I guess let's just go ahead and talk about Strangerville to these Sims. We do have work in about an hour and a half, so I won't stay too long. But this is a pretty big house, and there's barely nothing in it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I know we're all safe now, but I can't get the image of all of those possessed weirdo faces out of my mind. People are strange when you're in Strangerville. Faces look shady when you're in town. Oh! yes we have been promoted let's go ahead and I'm gonna have her just go into work and honestly I don't really trust these two so I'm gonna plant a bug I mean we do have plenty of them I'm gonna read this in just a second but I definitely don't trust these two I want to see what they're up to all right, well, I'm going to let them go ahead and take care of their babies. I'm going to go ahead and go back home, and I'm going to see you guys in just a bit. So, I was just about to go home, and I see, like, this really big double staircase. Hold on. I, I'm nosy. I am nosy. Let's go ahead and just poke around here real quick. 
so they have like this random I guess basement <laughs> level they have secret files oh my gosh so I should have came here while I was doing the mystery it looks like I can only view now but I'm sure this would have been clues oh I wonder what what is this because this looks different this looks different from the other clues like usually the clues look like this whole big stack so I don't know definitely interested in what's that um, is all about um, let's go ahead and just poke upstairs real quick yeah for this huge mansion there's barely anything in it so I wonder if that was done by design or if the sims team just had a limit on how many items they can actually put in here but this definitely is a strange strange home they have so many beds they have three bedrooms actually they have four bedrooms and it's only two adults here I don't know it just seems really suspicious to me right like I'm not the only one with that feeling right but anyway we have other things to take care of so Mick's gonna go ahead and head home and get ready for work and I'm gonna see you guys once she gets off just checking in at mid work so our royalty report came in as you can see in the top corner and I'm having Mick work hard at work she is becoming a little tense but hey we got to do what we can do to get that promotion so we earned 1040 simoleons um, stress from work and it needs amusement so you know what Mick let's just go ahead and have you I don't know I guess I'll go ahead and just have her pop in some earbuds. I really, really love her uniform and this is our new um, metal. So we'll go ahead and put that in our display case. I guess I'll just have Mick go ahead and text a couple of people. You know, maybe we can just send out text about um, the upcoming trip to Mount Kobarebi and just seeing if people would be down we'll go ahead and get together the crew I'm not sure how awkward things will be between Fooey Fooey and Michaela I don't even know if they had a proper talk about everything that they've been going through as of late but I don't know they're grown so I guess we'll just let them handle their own thing so I sent the text out to Michaela we'll go ahead and send one out to Fooey Fooey and Leon and the rest of the VK peeps and who's playing okay so thomas is playing a guitar okay do your thing do your thing can we watch him i don't know we can't really watch him let's go ahead and see what our daily work task is so we need to give orders this is actually perfect and i think mick outranks all of them so let's go ahead and order them to attention I'll wait till he's done. Let's go ahead and order her to do something. Order to run a lap. And then I can order him to maybe drop and give us 20. Oh, he <laughs> he's actually dropping and giving us 20. What else does Mick want to do? She wants to go for a jog, so I'll go ahead and pin that. And then let's try to order him to do something too. I guess I'll order him to clean this place up. I don't know. I wonder if you can give orders to civilians. That's, that's a really good question. Let's see if I can find somebody else. So I did find somebody else. They're kind of far off. I'm not even sure if Mick is headed that way. Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. <laughs> wow, I can't believe she waited. Is she a scientist? Her hair is actually different from everybody else's so I don't know if that was just a glitch in my game or maybe it's because the whole Strangerville mystery is over. Everyone is like back to their individuality. I don't know just something I kind of noticed. Let's talk to her about Strangerville real quick. Maybe she has something interesting to say. And then I want to see if I can maybe plant a bug on her and then I want to order her to do something. I guess I'll go ahead and order her to attention and then we'll plant a book just in case she's hiding something from us. Mix like stand in attention soldier. <laughs> oh I guess we're homies now. Okay so we're 75% of the way done. We planted that bug. 
Um, since Mick wanted to go jogging, yeah, I know you're hungry. Go ahead and go jogging first, though. Oh, there's somebody else. Hold on. Let's go ahead and give her an order first. We'll go ahead and order her to... I don't know. I guess we'll order her to run a lap. Why not? Okay, perfect. So we're complete with that. So we're going to go ahead and run our own lap. We're feeling really good. We're feeling really good because it's nighttime and we are a night owl. All the friends from People Person Lifestyle. Mick really doesn't feel like a sim can have too many friends. The more the merrier. Okay, perfect says we want to buy a punching bag we might go ahead and buy a punching bag and I just wish this thing will tell us once we've reached our maximum body potential I guess I'll have Mick jog until 1130 and then I guess we'll just go ahead and head back home okay Mick's just gonna go ahead and get some leftovers let's check on our work progress so we're in the good range right now Maybe if we keep everything really, really good, um, we can get another promotion by the time we go on Winter Fresh break. Um, and right now we're level seven officer. Go ahead and speed this up. So Mick's gonna go off to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, you guys, so it is about 6.45 in the morning. So we're going to go ahead and have Mick wake on up. And while it's on my mind, I'm going to go ahead and buy the listening device. I don't really have much space on the inside for it. So I'll put it right out back. And we're feeling pretty good with most of our needs. So you know what? Let's go ahead and listen in on Ted. And then we'll go ahead and put our metal in our trophy case. They look so good, you guys. <laughs> we actually zooming through this um, career faster than I thought we would. And I wonder what we're going to hear on the listening device. I don't know. Maybe we were doing too much being suspicious of our neighbors. But honestly, something feels off about their whole vibe. Why, hello, Jared. Okay, just make yourself at home on my um, artist easel. That's fine. I'm not using it. You could have asked first, but whatever. Okay, what are we getting? Okay, so we got a transmission. What did it say? Of course, I trust you with this information. You're the only friend I have. Who is the only friend you have? Okay, now I'm interested to listen in on the wife because is she the only friend he has or is it someone else? Let's go ahead and speed this up just a bit. Okay, come on, you agree, right? Her new haircut is awful. Just don't tell her I said that. Okay, that one was a dud. But the one from Ted seems definitely very suspicious. But anyway, some of Mick's other whims. She wants to plant something from being creative. Do I have something in my inventory to plant? I guess I can plant one of these little emotional berries. Okay, so we'll go ahead and have her plant this. And she also wants to send a happy text. So we'll go ahead and send a text to Leon. And then what else she wants to do? Play an instrument and buy that punching bag. Otto James. Hey, I heard you became friends with Tammy Rizzo. She's pretty cool. Awesome. So I guess I'll go ahead and just have her do a little bit of exercising. We'll do some sit-ups. And then we'll also do some push-ups. <laughs> Anything that Mick can do to get her body into the peak physical shape, I'm here for. And I don't know, I'm kind of, I want to kind of be done with this because I miss Mick's old body a bit. Don't get me wrong, I'm super proud of like how much she's worked out and like transform her body to just be a rock hard machine of just muscle and determination. But I kind of miss her um, curvy body because it's more similar to mine. But anyway... I guess we'll just go ahead and continue to do some exercises. And then I'll go ahead and buy that punching bag real quick. Okay, so I know putting it here isn't exactly ideal. <laughs> 
but it has to go somewhere right I'll go ahead and put the um, put a pin in the treadmill one today's mail has been delivered it sounds like bills to me oh no you didn't who are you flirting with did he seriously oh <gasps> is he serenading me oh my gosh I don't know what to do we're not going to listen. That is such a total disrespect to Leon. Did y'all see that? Me. Oh, oh, now, now you react. <laughs> now you react like that. Okay, we have 24 hours to pay our bills. Mick, where are you going? <laughs> I'm so confused. What is going on? How did you shut off our power? Y'all just said that we had 24 hours and then you shut it off right away. Okay. Well, Mick needs to go ahead. Oh! <laughs> well, show that punching bag who's boss is. We're gonna lay for work. Wow, she's hitting hard. Oh my gosh. Okay, go ahead and go to work. Being late is not going to be good for our performance. And I'm gonna see you guys when she gets off work. Alright you guys, so we've made it home from work. We brought home 1,040 simoleons and it says we're in an excellent range, but we're still like in the in like the good space, so I don't know. But we need to give orders again, so I guess we'll go ahead and do that. What's the matter? People peeling away from feeling hurt by someone nearby. Can Mick truly call herself a people person when her friendships come apart so easily? Oh my gosh, these lifestyles we having the Sims go through it. And then Mick needs to go ahead and pay the bills. So hopefully the roommates have contributed. Huh, I do not miss bills. I do not miss bills at all. Like not one bit. But hey, it kinda is what it is. We'll order the sim to run a lap. And Meg is definitely not feeling it, but she's just gonna have to perk up and keep pressing forward. And I guess in the meanwhile, maybe we could just have her do a bit more commando training. Pick up where she left off this morning. Ooh! Hey Meg, is Leon. Would you like to go on a date? <laughs> of course. All right, you guys, so we are on a date. So I guess we'll just go ahead and greet our date. Um, let's see what options do I have? Yeah, Mick is definitely not feeling it. I guess we'll just go ahead and serenade him. <laughs> I wonder if I could give orders to Leon. But he's feeling pretty, okay, Lily, that was rude. She just <laughs> walked up um, like straight through us. I don't know exactly what we're supposed to be doing on this date because we don't have goals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Like, Thorn, I mean, he's not ugly, but he ain't all that either. Like, y'all need to calm down. Okay, I need to order one more sim. Let's see. We'll give a military introduction to Bess. And then after I get my work task done, I don't know, maybe Mick and Leon can just talk and enjoy each other's company. We'll order her to um, spar against someone. My gosh, and they're actually doing it. <laughs> they're actually sparring. The girls are fighting. <laughs> but anyway, we'll just actually focus on Leon. We'll go ahead and ask him about his day. We'll tell an outrageous story. And then we'll also mental relaxation tips. Are you messing up our drinks? I mean, I guess this club isn't exactly, you know, high marks, but they'll be dropping our drinks. Anyway, Mick needs to talk to Leanna about their upcoming trip. You know, just making sure everyone is ready. And then also discussing, I guess, like their um, accommodations, like where they're going to stay, what type of activities they're going to do. But I mean, this is a nice date and I appreciate Leon asking us out. I thought that was like really, really sweet of him. I guess we'll also just whisper about celebrity. Uh oh, is he actually going to give us a hug? 
Thorn Bailey gave us a hug. Actually, I think I'm going to try an introduction because that's a whim. Try to introduce yourself to Thorn. Okay, Mick, you were doing so good. You were doing so good. Don't freak out now. Looks like you're having a good time, Mick. I am. I guess we'll just go ahead and ask him for um, an autograph. And then I guess a selfie too. I know this is just kind of like doing the most. Wow, we got his autograph. I'm sure that'll sell. That'll be a pretty penny one day. Thorn is like a really accessible celebrity. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, well we're done here. I'm gonna see you guys back in Strangerville. Um, excuse me. I did not invite you into my house. You're gonna have to go. Let's go ahead and call her over. Because nobody told you to come into my house. Yeah, my doors are locked, so I don't even know how you came in. Yeah, I don't I don't need you for anything. <laughs> I really don't. Mick is starving and she needs to take care of her hygiene. So let's see, what can I eat? Mick did enjoy her date out with Leon, which is always nice just to hang out with him. And she's excited more than ever to, you know, get a whoa. Don't mess up, Mick. <laughs> She's excited more than ever to finally get to Mount Kovarevi and, you know, maybe they'll go skiing or snowboarding or sledding. You know, Mick definitely has seen snow plenty of times living in Willow Creek, but not to the multitude of how the snow will be at Mount Kovarevi. And you know what? She's really excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead and let her eat and then I'll take care of her hygiene. Where are you going? Why is she eating outside? <laughs> I guess she's just going to go ahead and eat in somebody else's house. Okay. Not exactly my idea. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and have Mick shower and go to bed. And then I will see you guys in the morning. All right, you guys, rise and shine. It's time for Mick to go ahead and get on up. So we have work in about three hours. We completed our work task and it says we're excellent, but we'll see. I guess for now, I just wanna focus on continuing to build up Mick's fitness. So we're going to go ahead and do just a bit of boxing. I love her socks. <laughs> her socks are really, really cute. But yeah, we'll have Mick go ahead and do some boxing. She also wants to do a, a happy text and she's feeling really good from a nicely decorated and she is a morning sim. Mick is out here with no shoes on. Like she's ready to scrap for real. <laughs> you guys, like I literally can't. I cannot. Gimbo. Boring. <laughs> Well, hello. Um, you, you, Pana Nico. Hey, I heard you became friends with Bess. I wouldn't necessarily say we're friends, but I don't know. Maybe we could talk to this guy. It seems like obviously, <laughs> obviously. Oh no, 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 no! Not romantic. I meant to put funny. We'll go ahead and tell him a funny story. I mean, he seems like a nice enough guy. He just needs to know that we're taken. Um, and you know what Mick feels like maybe you know he is a nice guy and as long as he understands that Mick is taken and she's happily taken um, she might want to invite him to um, to the vacation we'll also extend an invite to Francine and Thomas um, or Francesca and Thomas you know just to see if they're interested as well and then Mick has work in about an hour so let's go ahead and check up on her needs so actually she's actually in the green for pretty much all of her needs which is really good what's to say whisperation from whispering after quietly discussing a few ideas Mick has been inspired by her creative roommate what was he whispering to her about I, I don't know you guys I don't like I don't like it I don't like it but Mick also wants to cook a gourmet meal is that something we have time to do so 
I guess we can go ahead and make some pasta primavera because it's going to be one simoleon. We'll make a party size for five simoleons. And Winterfest is tomorrow, you guys. Okay, so we got double the payments. So it looks like from our book and from our work. And I don't have time to finish that. We need to go ahead and go on to work because being late, that's probably why we're not like top ranks because we were late a couple of days. So make, make sure you go ahead and go to work. And then I'm going to see you guys once she gets back home. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. So Mick was promoted. Yes, you guys. So what does it say? Mick was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. So Mick has been promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. She will now make an additional 66 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 196 per hour. She also received the following bonus 1,790 simoleons, modified B64 training bot. Okay, nice. Medal of Discipline. Her next shift is Thursday at 10 a.m. Uh, I don't think so because tomorrow is Winterfest, but we will just have to see. But you guys practice giving orders. So how do I do that? Because I've been giving orders, but it didn't say practice giving orders. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just the same thing, but let's go ahead and pull out our new metal. Ooh, it's, it's the one um, from Thorn Bailey. You guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and put him on the wall. You guys like there's a legit autograph on here. Yo, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, what is this? basic audio recording oh you guys this can be used to blackmail ted roswell into giving you a few simoleons wow i've never seen a usb for the simoleons i mean for the um for the recording because remember we tried to blackmail Irwin it wasn't in no USB form you guys I am even more suspicious of the Roswells but anyway um what was I looking for I was looking for their metal mixed metal so there we go we got eight out of ten collected um and we just got stuff on the stove you guys we are in shambles <laughs> Um, Mick, go ahead and just resume your pasta primavera. How are we feeling? We're feeling overall inspired and we want to discuss color theory at a museum. I don't think that's going to happen, baby girl. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of the thorn thing. Cook a meal from feeling inspired. Get to know Jared. Don't get to know him too much, Mick. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a cute sim, but no. Like, I didn't like him serenading us. Like, I felt so awkward about that. I really, really did. But hopefully this will go ahead and count as cook meal. And then we also need to have some sims to order around. Oh, Kiki. Kiki is wondering if I want to go over her house and hang out. Um, no, I'm sorry, Kiki. Um, but you are more than welcome to join us in Mount Kobarebi. So I'm going to go ahead and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put this out for everyone. And we'll go ahead and share a meal. Mick's feeling generous. I mean, we did just get promoted. And then we'll also, um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and call to meal. And we'll just serve it to everyone. She also wants to talk about dreams with someone. And she still wants to buy a treadmill. So... I really don't have a place to put a treadmill. <laughs> I really don't. Like, that's why I haven't bought it yet. But we'll just go ahead and eat for now. And then she says she wants to get to know Jared. So let's go to friendly. Get to know. Okay. Hey, I got a special gift for you just because you're such a good neighbor. And I appreciate your kindness and friendship. Want to see what it is. Yeah, I want to see what it is. Where you at? Okay, so Jared is adventurous. Good to know. Grilled baked potatoes. That's very specific. Unknown caller. The number six will be very important to you in the next 24 hours. Hang up. Hey, wait, don't you want to click? No, we don't want to do anything with you prank phone caller. 
So I wonder what our present is. What's the matter, Mick? She's over here kicking her legs. Stress from work. Yeah, girl, you about to go on vacation tomorrow. Speaking of that, they need to go ahead and pack because they got to get up super early to catch their flight to Mount Cobarebi. You know, with the time difference. You know, they have to make sure that they are going to make their flight, get through customs and all of that. Um, so who are all these people? I guess these are people that the roommates are inviting over. I don't know. You know that I'm pretty much done with what I wanted to do here. Do you mind if I hang out for a bit? No, I don't. So what did he give us? A leaf? You got me a leaf, Bjorn? Are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do with a leaf? Okay, you like I'm in a good mood because I would have. Oh, is this it? Oh, leaf. Okay, okay. I was about to say I was gonna kick you smooth out if you gave me an actual leaf. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and order around if I can. We'll give some military introductions. Give him a military introduction as well. And then it says practice giving orders. Oh, I think that's with the um, the bot. So is that in our personal inventory? No, I think that's in our household inventory. Give me one sec. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, because they did say that we got one of those. So let's go ahead and practice ordering around. I think that's what they meant. Let's go ahead and leave them alone. I don't know how many times I need to do this. Hopefully, it's just the one time, though. Okay. Okay, perfect. That's what we need to do. So, I guess this is just like a certain amount of time. So, I'll go ahead and speed this up. Okay, perfect. So, it says giving orders are complete. So, Mick, go ahead and um, I guess you can just go ahead and do a little bit of fitness. I'll go ahead and buy her that treadmill since she's been asking for it. So, it's super late. I think I want Mick to go ahead and go to bed. Um, we need to get up super early to catch this flight to Mount Kobarebi. And the next time you see us, we will be in a different world. So, I'm going to see you guys in just a bit. Alright you guys, so it is the crack of dawn, but we have made it to Mount Kobarebi just in time for Winterfest. So I am feeling super excited. I am so excited to go ahead and check out, just to check out our accommodations. Um, hopefully there is enough space for everyone. If not, we will definitely work it out. I love Mick's outfit with this yellow and black. I, I just love it. I really, really love it. Mick is feeling tense but I have a feeling that all of her tension is going to go away pretty soon while she's on vacation. So since it is Winterfest we have a couple of traditions. Um, so open presents, give presents, and then have a grand meal. So you know what I guess Mick can go ahead and get started on the grand meal. Mick is feeling super energized from a gust of invigoration and you know what I think while we're here I want to go ahead and switch my aspiration to the extreme sports enthusiast so it says we need to go down bunny slope use a vending machine or the computer to purchase a remedy or deterrent okay and use mount combo Rebby info board so yeah let's go ahead and make the grand meal first and since it's still pretty early i'll just go ahead and have us a grand breakfast and then after we eat we can go ahead and hit up the slopes and you know just kind of acquaint ourselves with the area but you guys i actually like this i mean it's definitely compartmentalized which isn't usually my taste but you know, we'll make it work. Mick is feeling tense still. I don't know why she's feeling tense. I mean, she is feeling energized underneath that. And I guess it might be cold on the inside because Mick definitely has her outdoor wear on. But, you know, this is going to be a good grand breakfast. I could already smell the bacon and eggs from here with a side of pancakes. It sounds so, so delicious. 
so hopefully all of the sims are getting to know each other um the only one who um is kind of an outcast right now is jared make us the only one that knows him so i think she'll just go ahead and maybe introduce him to some other sims but it looks like he's doing a good enough job um introducing himself it looks like he's over here talking to levi um, I guess we'll go ahead and talk to Cole. It's been a quite a while since we've actually, you know, gotten to hang out with him. Thomas McDowell, what's up? Hey, um, so this might be a bad time, but I came back to our place and I seem to have um locked myself out. Haha, <laughs> silly me. Could you come home like no rush, but right now it'll be good no i can't go home i literally cannot go home <sighs> i literally only have one option dude okay i'll be right back oh well it looks like maybe it's not making me come home since we're on vacation we have another roommate so you need to go ahead and talk to francesca maybe she can help you out i'm literally on the other side of the world i'm not coming home just because you left your keys not my problem we'll go ahead and call it a grand meal <laughs> like thomas what is wrong with you dude like literally Thomas should be asleep this time of night because it's still early in the morning for us in Mount Coborebi. So I guess Mick, let's go ahead and just chat with Leon. We'll be funny. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and tell a knock knock joke and then we'll also chat it up with Miss Kiki. I wonder, let's see. I guess this doesn't count as a party, but maybe we can throw a party a bit later on. So yeah, we need to earn silver on three thrown parties. Yeah, we'll do something later on. Right now we're just trying to acclimate ourselves. And then where is Michaela? I feel like, okay, maybe her and Jared is just looking for their room. Who else we're missing? So if we, if we decided not to come, that's the reason why Jared was able to squeeze in. Um, Fooey Fooey just kind of felt like things were too awkward between him and Michaela right now. So he opted to just stay at home this Winterfest. And I don't blame him. I really don't blame him. So I don't see the other three. Okay, it looks like they're coming inside right now. So there's Michelle, Michaela, and have no idea where Jared is. But I'm sure he'll be in soon enough. And if we're all done, I guess I'll have Mick try to do some of these things. So let's see. I guess I'll just go ahead and have her find the info board. So it can't be too far from here. Oh my gosh, you guys, the slopes look so good. <laughs> they look so good. Okay, looks like I found the info board. I guess we'll go ahead and learn about, we'll go ahead and learn about skiing and snowboarding. And then it also says something about festivals, so we'll go ahead and learn about that too. Oh, we gained a sentiment with Kiki. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. How are our knees? So we're not having fun. I don't know how we're not having fun. We like literally are surrounded by friends, but Mick will be okay. I love this, you guys. <laughs> I love the deep snow. And what is this thing? Town mascot. Interesting. Yamachan. Young adult. Okay. I guess we'll go ahead and take a selfie with him. <laughs> I don't know. Are you ready to carve up Mount Kobarebi? You may want to start it slow and visit the Bunny Slope. Get the basics of how to pizza and french fry. What? <laughs> your skis or how to stop on a snowboard once you have the basics mastered take the gondola up to more advanced slopes you will be recording a highlight reel of your gnarly shreds in no time okay interesting interesting um i know that there is another aspiration that came with mount kobarebi and i think it is under location 
Okay, Sightseer. So it says, Explorer, eat food at the Festival of Light, Snow, or Youth. Take a selfie with the Mount Cobra Rebbe mascot, which is what we're about to do. Um, collect a semi by popping open a semi capsule. Swim for one hour in the Wakaba River. Okay. So since taking a selfie with this thing is on the list, let me go ahead and speed this up. We'll go ahead and get that done. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It kind of looks like a Teletubby. Okay. Oh, and there's Jared. Um, so it says collect a semi by popping open a semi capsule. Okay. So I did see some vending machines. Um, now I just got to remember where I saw them. I think this is, yep. 50 simoleons okay we got we got the simoleons it's okay it's okay and then I don't know when the next festival is okay so it says vending machine items let's go ahead and open that perfect you got father winter all oh, cute okay so what else we need to do um, Eat food at Festival of Light, Snow, or Youth. So when is the festival schedule? There are numerous festivals in Mount Kobarebi to celebrate. The Festival of Light is held in the Sinbanmachi neighborhood every other Friday from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. The Festival of Snow is held in the Yuki Matsu neighborhood every other Saturday from 3 p.m. to 12 a.m. and the Festival of Youth is held in the Wakaba neighborhood every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. My goodness. Okay, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So tomorrow is Friday, so I guess we will go to the Festival of Light. Hopefully we can remember. Um, for now, I'll go ahead and switch over to the other aspiration, which is the extreme sports enthusiast so it says we need to go down a bunny slope and use a vending machine or computer to purchase a remedy or deterrent so bunny slope i guess bunny is this considered bunny okay these are the bunny slopes i was about to say i'm gonna get messed up thinking the easy slope is the bunny slope so let's see do i need to go somewhere and like rent some equipment or like can i buy some equipment hmm i don't know maybe i can buy equipment from one of the vending machines oh okay so this is where you get the deterrent yeah we'll go ahead and purchase something from that vending machine and then we'll just need to go down the bunny slope and then we would have completed this tier of the aspiration I'm feeling pretty good about this already you guys it's so peaceful here it really really is and I can't wait to like get together with a group and like just have us do all of the things so anti anthropod spray you know what I think I want to get one of everything please and thanks <laughs> You know what we'll we won't go crazy okay that's a basic snowboard yeah I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get a snowboard okay perfect so those things should be in our inventory right let's go ahead and go on a bunny slope I don't know do I just need to click somewhere go snowboarding on bunny slope and we'll just do it one time since we do have the rest of our group still at the house. Some of them actually might be wondering about. Who knows? But so far, I am enjoying Mount Kobarebi. Perfect! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! We actually didn't do as bad as I thought we would, you guys. I really, really like that. <laughs> and Mick didn't wipe out, which was so, like, so much better than I thought it would have been. Probably because her fitness skill is so high. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Oh, well, <laughs> I just set Mick up. <laughs> But anyway, you guys, here's today's question of the day. 
Mount Kobarebi seems to have so many different things to offer and we'll only be here for a couple of days so Mick and the crew definitely want to maximize their time here and have a great overall experience so what I want to know from you guys is what aspiration should we focus on completing obviously I want to do both but the options are extreme sports enthusiasts and Mount Kobarebi sightseer definitely let me know which side of the um, aspiration choices should Mick focus on and why I'm super excited to see what you guys come up with that was pretty epic <laughs> good thing we're actually right by the house so you know what I think I just want to hang out with the crew and see what we got going on um so yeah we'll just be funny we'll tell a funny story we'll tell them about how we busted our butt and it's already about to be 4 p.m so i guess we could just go ahead and try to complete some of these other winter fest um Winterfest tradition so we had the grand breakfast which was good we also need to open and give presents but yeah I think for now I'll let Mick just go ahead and chill out with her friends um, we definitely have quite a bit to go on our aspirations oh how is she feeling about Leon opus in profile Closer from happy memories. Mick feels close to Leon from good times and happy memories. Awesome, awesome. So, I don't know. Let's see. We need to give gifts and open presents. So, I guess we can go ahead and open a present. We'll open presents with everybody. Just so we can get that tradition out of the way. And then, I don't know, maybe Mick can talk up Jared to Michaela. Okay, good. So, it looks like we're opening presents. Oh, and we got a sentiment with Kiki, too. It might be the same one that we read earlier. Yeah, closer from Happy Memories. Okay. So, we're opening a present. I guess everybody else will get their own. Oh, Mick got the one ornate beauty. She will treasure it. Oh, awesome. Okay, perfect. So we completed that tradition. Oh, well, all right, you guys. Um, I think this is as good a place as any to leave off. If you made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. It helps me and the channel out more than you know. And feel free to subscribe and be sure to click that bell. That way you never miss an upload from me. Don't forget to answer today's question of the day in the regular comment section below. And be sure to include Q OTD in your response so I can find the question of the day a lot easier. Anyway, you guys, I'm wrapping up here and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.